Oh, look at that! It's a T-Rex and a mammoth! <laughs> the game requires a little continent, and yet it is! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, hello, everybody! And welcome to the newly updated Jurassic World The Game. In this update, you can pit your strongest and biggest and... Mm, ...fairiest... A glacier creature against the scaliest, smelliest, biggest dinosaur that you want. Um, and it also looks like there's 807 megabytes because they are introducing four new glacier creatures, which is the Amphicoon, two slots, which is like Ursamatherium and another Ethereum, as well as, um, what's the other one? Ooh. Ooh, oh, Megaloceros, that's right, it's the deer. So, we're still waiting on a few creatures. We're still waiting for the highly anticipated Titanoboa. Titanoboa. Which everybody has been waiting for ever since Just Prop Builder. It was a fan favorite. It was really good. And who knows as to whether we're going to get that in the glacier or the normal park. Because technically they weren't glacier creatures. Um, but, I mean, they'd probably suit a land park better, I would imagine. But you never know, they may bring in... Uh, Dinosuchus and maybe Sarcosuchus, because Dinosuchus or Dinosuchus. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me how to pronounce like certain dinosaur names, and I'm sorry, I, I ain't no paleontologist. I don't know how to say every name, but I'll try my best. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess we wait till the the next 400 megabytes. I'm ho what I'm hoping for is like I was gonna cut and then come back, but it's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna yabber because I love to yabber when I'm excited. <laughs> I'm kind of interested to know what they're gonna do. Events wise because it'd be a bit of a shame if the glacier and the land dinosaurs fighting each other was just like a live thing And that was it like you could do with the land creatures the aquatic creatures and the glacier creatures I'm also hoping that it's not too infrequent or if there's better prizes. I want something to change I want something to change That really enhances how you play this game and makes it better makes it more fun rather than like oh It's just battles except for you know now it's a t-rex versus a mammoth and I Feel like maybe that won't be the case, but hey, who knows? Here it is! The update screen! With everything still loading. So the UI is still the same. There is going to be change, and I don't know whether that is going to be in the battles, or if it's going to be uh, anything else. In fact, look! We can already see that um, there is a change. If we look... Yeah! Look at that! Things are ready to level up. So that shows me... Ooh, one tap level up. Tap the feed button once to level up your dinosaurs. Oh, are you kidding me? So now it doesn't take multiples. So we have, apparently, um, some of these... Cre so let's see, here we go. Diploted level. Yeah, two th look at that one level instant. <gasps> oh, no. So what does this mean to all the creatures? They were almost level 40. They were like one bite away. What does that mean for those? Is it still possible to have- So now it's impossible to have something partway fed. So everything is pretty much maxed out. I know for sure. Ooh! Oh, I like it. So it's- it's- it's okay. I, there should be a way to turn it off because sometimes you just want to look at the dinosaurs or the creatures inside without having like three icons on top of that. That's pretty neat because at a quick glance you can say, Oh, I confuse the stegosaur. Oh, I confuse Nozutoceratops. Because if you're looking for a, a like Triceratops, it's like, oh my god. Um, but then I'm like, oh, I, that must be, yeah, it's Nozudo because it's a Ceratopsian. And I can also level it up. Uh, sorry, uh, fuse it. My bad. Um, so that's interesting. Um, anything new in the packs? Okay, VIP mystery pack. Oh, we're going to get anything different. Is it going to be the same? Still 30? Yeah, it's still 30. That, I mean, oh. Oh, you can't speed up. Oh, have they taken that out? Oh, no. They fixed it. So you can no longer, well, you couldn't glitch, but I couldn't speed that up there. Speed up free. Oh, the phone. Why were those free speed ups? Okay. Oh, you ca I can speed up that, technically. Why was that a free speed up? Oh, you can speed up, like, them hatching as well now. That's new. Or could you always... I don't think you could do that. Okay. Inter now, can you spin? Yay! You can spin them around without it flipping the thing on the bottom. Awesome. I don't know how they managed to mess that up. So, the problem was, it was especially with, like, Geosaur and Chronosaur. You oh, no, sorry. Uh, we need uh, Chronosaur. Because you couldn't scroll up. Um... Uh, it's it's okay. You can't really scroll up still, but uh, that's okay. I, I can live with that. But 
we need to look at the news because there was apparently loads of different updates. Here we go. Oh, what we got. So here are the new creatures. Oh, and there's the new hybrids. Look at that Dilophosaurus. Oh, that looks awesome. So we got the sloth, um, Amphacoon, Megaloceros, another sloth. Uh, free speed up event. Get your creatures fast. For a limited time, the cost of hatching, fusing, and other speed ups have been rapidly decreased. Oh, that's pretty cool. Stay in the loop. Follow the steps for a chance to get a free unique creature. Ooh, okay. New loop gameplay. Participate in the What Lies Beneath event using land creatures. Guaranteed to unlock that. Participate in Monsters of the Deep. Uh, to get an aquatic, I participate in glacier shifts to get an aquatic, and participate in it's a whiteout using the Cenozoic. Guaranteed to win a Cenozoic battle pack, 75%. Oh, interesting. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the battles. Oh, there's the new UI. There it is. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cool. Oh, I'll so you know what it is. It's like they've taken the interface, user interface, from Jurassic Park Builder because uh, you had at the side like Glacier, Aquatic, and so so forth. So we've got the battle stages, which are constantly going, and we're still on battle sta stage infinite, which tells me that there is still no max level to 80, so all of my statues are wasted. Uh, if I click one John Hammond, is it going to level up? Nope, didn't think so. Sorry, John Hammond. <laughs> Let's have a look if there's anything in the hole. Oh, 19,000 for 4,000 DNA. I'll take it. Uh, we do have new hybrids, but I don't know whether we can get them now. Um, uh, so what else we got? This, so we got a Dino Stampede event. Yours for the taking. Go go toe-to-toe -to -toe in this special event to gain a pack. Cool. We got the PVPs here. So we got boosted Cenozoic versus land, normal Cenozoic versus land, and aquatic. Um, and the info here. So the possible prizes win one of these rewards. So you win individuals? Surely, yeah, it's going to be everything, right? So we've got the super rares, we've got the legendaries, every creature, um, apart from the aquatic. And oh, there you go. This is the stuff you don't want to win. And coin. So there's like, did it say there was a chance? Like a high chance, hold on. And the event it said it was like a 95% chance to win unique creatures. Participate in It's a Whiteout. Guaranteed to win a Cenozoic Battle Pack. 75 chance of winning a unique dinosaur. 25% chance of winning a Cenozoic creature. And that's It's a Whiteout. I don't think we've got that just yet. We've got the VIP. Oh my god, the climate shift! Underwater, no restrictions. Yours for the taking. Go to the toe in this event. Does it keep on changing? What was that one? That was that. How did I access? Oh, there it is. Event. So it's all these events. Okay, and we've got the coming soon as well in 16 hours. Oh, that's a bit of a shame because there was actually in the code. Um, there's a guy on our Facebook page on the Jurassic World Facebook page who knows what events are coming out. So, like wet, like a day ahead. I'm not too sure how. I think he's. It's something to do with the time zone and whatnot. It looks at the code. Um, and Ludia knows this, and they put in the code, we know you're watching, Sam. <laughs> Which is really weird. Either that or there was a Photoshop. It could be either. So in this climate shift pack, you can win any glacier and any... Oh, there you can win! The Aromatherium! Okay, so let's see if we've got any new hybrids, or if they're going to be unlocked via special events. So we're going to go on hybrids. Um... Okay, everything's green now, which is interesting. Uh, let's scroll along to the Dilophosaurus hybrid. Is it going to be locked? Create in the crit! We can make it! Oh, okay, okay, where's Dilophosaurus? I got him out. Fuse, what is it? Erlikosaurus level 40? Go to. Oh my god, guys, there it is! <laughs> it was Erlikosaurus! You guys were right, everyone was saying, oh, that, and I mean, I, I speculated at the hump being a Lycosaurus. So what, what is it going to be? Uh, bleh, what's it going to be? Dilopha, Dilopha Lycosaurus? <laughs> Dilopha Lycosaurus. Okay, sorry, we're getting this thing. So it is a rare and a tournament creature. And a Lycosaurus is a pretty damn good tournament creature. So we're looking at Mega Dilophosaurus. Finally. Oh my God, just pretend it's another genus. This thing looks amazing. It's called Olyphosaurus. Is now available. And here he is. So already at level 1, 1,700 health, 404 attack. Now this, again, it's a carnivore. I would love this thing 
to have been a mix between a carnivore and a herbivore. That would have really added something, but who knows if they're going to do that. They might, they might not. I don't think they are at this, time, at this point. I love the feathers on it. It looks awesome. Okay, let's uh, let's feed it all the way. Evolve. How much do they cost? 43,000. Max stats, 2,200 2, attack. Oh my god, the health. 9,000 health. It can't be more than a Patasaur, can it? I don't think we can even check what a Patasaur's health is because it's not a creature you can buy. VIP packs, yep. We can't even check. I, I think that this is gonna... Jesus. A, a carnivore with 9,000 health. Sod it, let's get it, let's do this. Um, this will be... Oh, 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 oh stay alive. <laughs> oh, it looks awesome. Yeah, let's do it. I don't care. We've saved up way enough DNA. Tons of DNA and lots of food as well. I don't know if I like that. I think, you know, it saves time. It really does. Um, oh, it looks so cool. New Dilophosaurus hybrid. Like, Universal or whoever, like Universal owns Jurassic Park, what have you. Ludia must know. Dilophosaurus is like the star attraction in Jurassic Park. If it's not the T-Rex, if it's not the Raptors, it's the Dilophosaur. That dinosaur scared the pants off every kid who watched that movie. So here we go, level 20, 140. So they did say that right now, speeding up costs a lot less. Um, 40, 43,000 DNA. This thing is expensive. Also, we've got another hybrid to get as well, which we'll do a dedicated video for uh, in a, you know, maybe in an hour or so. Who knows? So 157,000. Good lord. Oh my god. That's like a million gone. Okay, let's go to the market. But first, let's see what the other hybrid is because it could even be, it could be something better. I'll tell you what, I do really like its profile picture there. It's got a shadow. You can see the full thing. It looks glorious. Like, in comparison to the others, they're pretty big, some are a bit low quality. That thing looks good. It may be a little bit small. It, it might even look better if it's just the head, I think. Um, but I quite like the way it looks like now. I, like, I don't know, I'm listening to myself. It looks good now, but it could look better if it's with something else. And now we're going Irish. So, Tapijara is a rare. It's a Tapijara. Now, somebody said it could be the Guanlong. The forgotten um, common dinosaur, which it, it is a bit unf forgotten, sorry. Uh, so, there is Dino Dinocheris, so it's not Dinocheris, it had to be uh, Illicosaurus, because it is a totem creature. Um, actually, Dinocheris is as well, except for Dinocheris is more attack. So, let's get out Tappy Jara. Get out, you Tappy! How much do you cost? It's Monolophosaurus! I, I thought it was actually Monolophosaurus for, um... The Dilophosaurus, because I thought it might be have the um, the the back, but actually Monolophosaurus didn't have the back. So that's interesting. But let's go buy another. Uh, the what's it called? Alophosaurus. Alophosaurus. I love it. Forty three thousand. That is expensive though. And only one thousand six hundred eighty. I can't. I think it might be on small things. So any common can be sped up instantly. We'll try that. So we'll put in a common dinosaur. And just see if it's instant. Because those rares, I'm pretty sure, speed up 10 bucks. I th I don't think that's any cheaper. <laughs> if I gotta admit. Um, put in, like, Ichthyostega. Activate. Yeah, I don't know if I'm getting any bargain. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That might be a glitch. Um, or I, I'm not too sure. I like how everything's green. It, like, green is usually for hatch to show you. You can hatch it. But now, even buying, it's green. So, I think maybe it's... What the... So, Indominus Rex has 2,000 attack. Elephosaurus has 2,200. <laughs> and it costs a lot more in DNA. So, Indominus Rex is beat... You know what it is, right? Everyone thought... Or at least I did, especially. I thought that um, Dilophosaurus would have a hybrid with the T-Rex because Hasbro's line showed a Dilop Dilophosaurus Rex. It was terrible. It was a bad toy. You know the rest. But I thought that was what we were going to get. Also, with the, the um, Pteranodon, we thought it was going to be Pteranodon and Gallimimus. However, it's not. They seem to have upgrade updated the, um, the Cherry Blossom. That looks nice. As well as the Lily Pads. Have they done... Oh, the phone! Have we got more decorations? Let's have a look. 
I know a lot of people don't really care about decorations because you can't feed. Ooh, ice cream stand. That's awesome. I need to just rejigger my park. I was hoping we'd get level 80 max so I could just spend all of my... What do I call them? I could get all the XP and then sell them all. But alas, again, still not... Why 75? It's so weird. It's such a weird number. Um, gazebo, I feel like we've had. So there's nothing else just yet. Okay. So how about... Unlock via special event. Unlock via special event. Unlock via special event. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So we've got Amphacoon, which... Why is Amphacoon locked? Oh, sorry, yes. I'm thinking of Andrew Sarkis. Amphacoon, Marsupial Lion, Ermotherium, Sarcastodon, uh, Megaloceros, yeah. And Megatherium. Megatherium's a legendary! Oh, he's had an upgrade to Jurassic Park Builder. He was a super rare or a silver. And now he's a legendary. Awesome! So nice to see uh, Best and Sloth get, um, get a little improvement. Because that's what I called it. I still remember... Um, here's, here's a little blast from the past. Uh, when I was making Jurassic Park Builder, I was watching a lot of Best in Sloth, and when I, I, I would name my creatures, I called that Best in Sloth, and a lot of you guys commented on, on that video and sent it to him, and he commented on that video saying, no oh, shucks, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> cause, like, he had, he was like, so, like, in terms of subscribers and views, he was so much bigger than me, like, like uncomprehensible, like, like, I loved his content, and, um, it was, like, the first person I watched on YouTube that actually got in touch with me, because I did actually mash it, ma I, ma I massaged Poet Plays <laughs> at the time, who never got back in touch with me, um, which is a shame, because I was like, no, but, but best was like, actually did, and I was like, oh, that's cool, um, and I even messaged him saying, oh, check out my content, and he did, and, like, that meant a lot to me uh, back then and encouraged me to keep on doing content. And I see it now every now and again. Like, I had somebody message on a previous video saying, oh, oh, that thing looks awesome. I can't wait to see a level 40, though. Um, message me about, oh, can you check out my videos? And usually I'm opposed to that because most of my videos were spammed at one point with um, check out my channel, check out my channel. Because I used to do shout out videos and my comments turned into just check out my channel. And I hated it. Because I didn't want my comments to be that. I wanted to communicate. Oh, he's blue! Awesome! Let's check him out. Oh! Hasn't changed too much. It's like the human saturation has been bu 755,000. Oh my god, this is going to be like my second best creature. So again, with something like this, it's it's kind of a waste to get level 40. But for this, for the sake of this video, we're going to, we need another four. So that is another 160 odd thousand DNA, which we oh so definitely have, because I am, um, I I am, um, you know I I I I I I I, <laughs> where I man? <laughs> so you know what? Going against my better judgment, we're gonna do it. Two more. We won 556 thousand DNA, which was a load, an absolute load. Um, and I didn't know what to spend it on. And, um, because, I, I mean, I've got Metrophodon, but there's no point really having Metrophodon. Because, um, oh my god, my DNA! Oh! <laughs> I'm like, oh no! I haven't been this low in ages! But this is, uh, it's Dilophosaurus. I'm doing it, I don't care. So let's just feed them all. Feed you. Feed you. And you. And you. So, there we go. We've actually lost a lot of DNA speeding them up because we had to speed up six, sorry, eight. Yes, no, yeah, six. We had to speed up six, so that's at least probably about 8,000 DNA each. Sorry, uh, bucks. Well, not each, sorry. All together, it's about 8,000 uh, bucks. Sorry, I'm terrible. I know, I apologize. It's like a bloody roller coaster ride. Except there's no seatbelts. You can't even, can't even hang on to anything I'm saying. So it takes seven hours. Good God. I just want to use this. That's what this episode will be. It will be you. New update. New Dilophosaur Hybrid Max. There you go. Title thumbnail done. <laughs> so there you go. Another level 20. So we've got to feed these guys. We were on 90, 90 million food. So they get that another level 30. So we're on 71 million. So we've lost about 29 million food. And... 250,000 DNA. 
Oh god! That's a lot! But we're doing it. We're doing it. So this is a five star. At level 30. And now usually that's as much as I would cost. Good lord! So it's saying that I can actually fuse them together. It's not fuse them. Um, put, you've got like three icons. You've got a fusion icon, a level up icon, and a... Uh, splice. Well, not splice, sorry. A lab icon. Now, some of my creatures have that lab icon. Sorry, the level up. Even though they can't be... If I click on that, is it okay? No, he's still got it for some strange reason. These guys that are already, already maxed say I can level them up, which is not true. So here we go. This is it. The level 40 fusion. What's it going to look like? Prettier colors. Um, co Way, way more expensive on the books than it is DNA. You know, this is this is all the hours. This is all the hours I've put into the game coming to a head right here. All the time logging in. All that 180 DNA, 288 bucks. He looks cool. I'm wondering, like, I can see the crest is enlarged, so he's got the V. The very iconic Dilophosaur V crest. As opposed to, like, the blunter crest that's on the uh, level 30. Uh, the frills look bigger. They've got purple around the outside. And that cost a lot to speed up in total. So here it is! Six stars! Extra fluffs. And there it is! Oh, wow. Those cut three million! Three freaking million to feed! <laughs> oh, God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Let's make it angry. Come on, I'm gonna tap you more. There you go. Let's see that frill. Oh, it's beautiful. I like it. Okay, three million a pop. Three million, three million, three million, three million, three million, three million, three million. Oh. So it was, it's, it's basically cost 60 million almost to max this thing up from nothing. And the final time you will see it feed. There you are. Are you happy? Because I'm not getting another level 40 maxed. It's not happening. <laughs> Maybe a one. We'll get a one and feed it, but not a level 40. Good Lord. Almost, I would say, almost the one of, well, one of the most expensive creatures in the park. Second to Metrophodon and possibly Gorgosuchus. Um, and there we have it. Our first level 40 tournament hybrid. Looks awesome. I love it. So I, I was just like admiring it there. Because we don't look at the models enough and they, they spend a lot of time on this. I mean, yes, it's a, you know, an animation that is we've seen before. But they've done a lot of work with this. If we can zoom in. I mean, look at that. Look how close you can get to it. That looks awesome. Ready? That looks so cool. I want to do it again. Pokey. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I haven't like, admired Dilophosaurus. You know, the thing is, that crest on the front, that's like what Dilophosaurus is. Like its original colors. And then you've just got all this vibrancy from um, Erlikosaurus. Even the feet look like Dilophosaurus's. There's like parts that are that from the level 40 is still uh, shining through. So even though it's fused with the carnivore and a herbivore, it is very, very kind of carnivorous. I can't even talk. I'm too excited. I want to test this thing out. Let's do the event with it. Let's do the Dino Stampede. Yep, it's official. It's my best creature. Probably because it's got 9,000 <laughs> the, the difference in health. The closest thing I've got to like 9,000 health is 6,000 health. That's an extra half added on top. Cost 1 million 500. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, he doesn't have great attack in comparison to other dinosaurs like Metrophodon. But even nerfed, it's got over 1,000, which is nuts. So that's one. We should be able to kill. Look at that. 3,000 attack. Oh. I should just go for reserves. I knew he'd go for one block. And with ninth. If you double this guy's health. You'd be unstoppable. Like if you get the 200%. You'd have like 36,000 health. There'd be nothing that could kill you. In what? In like eight hits. I don't think. Gorgosu just with eight? Can't. Might be able to do. I think Metrophodon. At level 30, I did 8 attack with it, and it did 111,000 attack. 
So yeah, maybe Metrophodon could kill it. Double Bam! Kill. It's a double kill. Heret yeah, nothing stands a chance. I will be surprised if I die. I will be. Look at that damage. A thousand and still coming. Oh, you took 1,000 of my damage out of the 9,000 I have. <laughs> we'll go for that because he's probably got two blocks. Oh, he went for three. Damn it. The only thing I miss is that the Dilophosaur doesn't spit venom as it does in Dust Park Builder. Only downside. But apart from that, I love this. I love this creature. That's awesome. Um, yeah, we'll go for three. Yeah, okay. Good. Now we're against Diplotator Dots. Come on, Diplotator, what could you do? Yeah, the only thing we've got to worry about is coming up against Gorgosuchus. That's it. I like the feathers along the back. There's loads of detail on this model. It's awesome. Another thousand damage. And we can kill it in one hit. So, uh, yeah, just gonna kill you. Oh, no! Oops. Okay, I might be playing this a bit wrong. Oh, God, I've had a cup of tea and it's repeating on me really badly. <laughs> Oh, it just keeps coming. Okay, he's got one block this time. We can go for two safely. Uh huh. And then two block. Awesome. Bam. Overkill. Overkill. So five left. We've got a Microbosaurus, but still nothing too lethal. I was gonna say, um, should we go for three? I think we should go for three because he may go for two block. Oh, beautiful! Spectacular. Four left, and Stegoceratops is one of them. He's got six. Goes for three. Okay. Oh, well, our health is wearing down. What I need to what I need to do is kill this thing. So we're gonna go for four and four reserve here, because. Oh yeah, I knew he'd go for it. Kill go for three blocks. Because that four ninety eight attack gets turned into a hundred and seventy one, which is nothing. So I'd rather take care of, um, what's it, my, what, what even is it? I forgot what it was. Micro, micro, oh my god. Why am I, why am I making mistakes on that name? So he's got one block. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Kill him and Microposaurus? I think it's Microposaurus. I think that that's what that amphibian was. Oh my god, I'm having a terrible day today. Oh, I can't even think. Okay, so there's only two left. Just kill this thing. We have to kill him too. And then he had four, didn't he? So I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Because that's 768. I'd rather take on Giga... What's it called? Gigacephalus? Giganocephalus. Yeah. I'd rather take on this than... Uh, I'd rather take on 215 attack than 700. Oh, you, he did it! Yeah, flawless! Didn't even die. Killed the whole team. Extermination medal. I think that's what that is. Apocalypse. I don't even think... Um, Extermination. Metrophodon did that. I think it needed help. And there you have it. Super rare pack achieved. And Ma a Metrancus. Beautiful. As well as more VIP points. I can't speed the VIP points up anymore, which is a bit of a shame. That may be... Like, they may have done that because there's a glitch. Uh, before where if you sped up the VIP points, you didn't get any. But, I it, like, that was with the event creatures, the tournament creatures. And even still, when I didn't speed it up, it didn't get any VIP points. So if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see the next episode, smash that like button and I'll get it up as soon as possible. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.